It's been months since Barbara Leinheimer has seen her mom, Alice Hart, face to face. We have FaceTime chats, which is really good. I don't have to drive all the way down, all the way back. Um, at uh, three o'clock, I'm near my phone or my iPad and we, we chat. Alice has spent the past three years at the Copper Canyon Assisted Living and Memory Care Center. She has dementia, but she can joke. She can talk about current things, pick out her outfit. She just doesn't remember what she had for lunch, but hey, neither do I. When the pandemic started, in-person visits came to a stop. But with promising news on a vaccine, the assisted living community enrolled in the CDC's COVID-19 vaccination program. We felt that it's a, kind of a, a way to get our residents and family members back to somewhat of a normal life. Juan Martinez is the executive director for the assisted living community. He says once a vaccine is approved and becomes available, the CDC, along with CVS, will provide it on site for both residents and staff. Once we're told that we can actually do it, they'll roll everything out. They'll come to the community, do the vaccinations, and we go about our days and hopefully it's about a lot better than 95% effective. So. Leitenheimer says when she got the news, she was thrilled. I want mother protected. I want others around her protected. Um, we don't want to spread it, so as soon as I can get the vaccine, I will. While there's no exact date on when the vaccine will be provided, Leinheimer says the mere thought of being able to visit face-to-face -face is enough for now. Veronica Acosta, Kega 9 on your side.